Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. In today's episode, we will be discussing about origin of accounting, what is accounts, who are all the stakeholders or who are all the users of accounts and what is the definition of accounting and why accounting is required. Let's go one after the other. Accounting, as per American Institute of, Institute of Certified Public Accountants, accounting is an art of recording, art of recording transactions and accounting is also called as the language of business. Any language has to be used for communication and the communication as far as accounting is concerned has to go to the different stakeholders. Who are the stakeholders when it comes to accounting? The stakeholders means the people who are interested in seeing the financial health of a business. Say let's for example the investors, employees, suppliers, customers and in fact banks to name a few. These are all the stakeholders who are interested in the wealth of business. What do we call as wealth of business? Uh, business wealth can be defined in many ways. One such way is uh, net profits or gross profit. And how do you define or how do you measure profits? Profits can be measured only by recording all the transactions that's happening over the course of business. And what is, what is transaction? Let's discuss about that in detail. Let's get into more detail. We discussed earlier about accounting as an art of recording. So let's discuss about that. From the definition, the following attributes emerge. Accounting is an art and it requires the expertise and skill of accountants to design accounts. The transactions or events of a business must be recorded in monetary terms. Accounting proper process involves recording, classifying, summarizing of transactions, analysis and interpretation of results. The results of such analysis has to be communicated to the people who are interested. As we discussed earlier, the people interested are employees, investors, suppliers, customers and banks etc. Those are all the interested parties. So when, when we talk about accounting as a language, the communication of the results becomes most important there. As mentioned earlier, accounting process is the art of recording transactions. So the process starts with transactions. What do we mean by transaction? Anything that has got an giver and a taker is called transactions. So that should be a person who has to give and that should be a person who has to take it. And the transactions has to be journalized, resulting into the posting and balancing of accounts. Then comes the preparation of trial balance, preparation of trading account, profit or loss account, and the preparation of balance sheet. And cycle continues. The next transaction comes, it has to be journalized, it has to be posted, then it has to be recorded as part of the ledger, then the preparation of trial balance, preparation of trading account, profit and loss account and balance sheet and the cycle continues. When we say recording of transactions, the first step is on, in an accounting process is identifying the financial transactions of a business and all the monetary transactions has to be recorded in the original books of entry called journals. The first step in an accounting process is the recording of transactions and all the monetary transactions are recorded in the books of original entry called journals and recording of the journals is called journalizing. Entries are made in the journal on the basis of source of documents in the chronological order, in the sequence. When you say chronological order, it's, an, it's, it's recorded in a sequence in the order of occurrence of the transactions. The next step in the process is called posting and balancing. What do we mean by posting? 
transaction or transferring the entries that are recorded in the journals to a ledger account is called posting. Ledger entries are basically a sum of all the debits and credits that's happening within the particular ledger account. Finding the difference between the total of debits and credits column of all the ledger account is called balancing.